Just when you think things couldn't get more ridiculous, a group of second graders was given a goodie bag filled with condoms and lubricant. A second grade teacher at a California charter elementary school passed out these hygiene bags to her students. They contained shampoo, soap, condoms, lubricant, and matches, among other things. Now, according to this report, the second grade teacher is friends with an outreach worker at the San Diego Youth Services. Now, the organization was the one that provided the 40 bags. They gave them to these elementary students, but the organization's CEO said that the bags were meant to help the homeless and high-risk youth. And he also said that the teacher who gave away these bags probably wasn't aware of the safer sex items contained within. So what is the issue here? Is the teacher taking these students to the homeless shelter and they're taking a tour and then they get these goodie bags at the end? No telling, right now the school is on a spring break, so the investigation will continue. But this is very similar to what we heard with the Chicago Public School when they told parents that they didn't mean to include those graphic slides teaching safe anal sex to fifth graders. Those slides were apparently put in there mistakenly, although this outrageous sexual education curriculum is actually in alignment with a United Nations report that came out in 2009, they were suggesting that it was essential for young people to learn about this type of education. Now, this report recommends that children as young as five receive mandatory sexual education that would teach these kids about masturbation. So these are kids as young as five years old. Under this plan, by the time kids are 12, they'll learn all about the reasons for abortion but they'll already have learned for the past three years about how safe and effective abortions are. The United Nations says that these lessons will help kids develop a more complex understanding of sexual behavior as they grow into adults. Of course, it's gonna be a more complex understanding. You're teaching 10-year-olds about anal sex. Why is the United Nations so obsessed with the, our children's genitalia? Obviously, this is part of a larger UN agenda to discredit the family as an institution and drive children towards the state for all of their answers rather than their parents. And this was actually confirmed by former abortion clinic director Carol Everett. She said agencies like Planned Parenthood teach sexual education to young children in order to sexualize them at an early age. And this, of course, ensures a steady stream of new clientele in the abortion clinics. I want you to think of this as a business. People don't think of it as a business, but they have to expand their market. And who is their market? It's the woman who's having an abortion. And so who is the longest-term customer for an abortion clinic? It's a woman early in her teens who is going to continue using abortion as a method of birth control throughout her childbearing years. So they go into the schools. With Our goal was three to five abortions between the ages of 13 and 18. But you cannot just go to these kids when they're 12 and say, I want you to start getting pregnant. So what we did was we worked to create our market by breaking down the natural modesty, separating the children from their parents and their values, and becoming a sex expert in their lives. My commission was $25. My goal was 40,000 abortions a year so I could be a millionaire. Wow. The last month I was there, we did 545. My income was $13,625. <laughs> Oh,